got a question. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I got I got a question for you. <laughs> so uh so I'm gonna say my part of this and I want you to say your part of this. How do uh women fix their part in relationship issues? Do they? <laughs> um because everybody's everybody online right now is saying it's the other person, it's the other gender's fault, it's the other sex fault. I feel like we all need to we fix it about, in the next relationship. Huh? We fix it in the next relationship. What do you mean? We fix what's wrong with us in the next relationship. But a lot of women don't see they doing nothing wrong. Right, but that's that's again with you know your upbringing and your mother's fault. But <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm serious though. But like, because it's really about your upbringing and what you know and how you know it and like you you know. Mm-hmm. But like, women, I just are uh, general like they're not about to fix that unless you're married. Maybe, maybe if you get like you know like some serious counseling from a pastor or something. I don't even mm-hmm. think that a therapist can help you at this point. But I'm like, you think they need Jesus, huh? No, I think they need a person who has real life experience in a in a relationship. That's why I think mm-hmm. a pastor is a good idea because they've been married for like 45 years or whatever. You know, somebody who's been married for so long could probably help you. But other than that, I think that she's she going to fix it in her next relationship. You know what's interesting? I'm engaged now, right? So I believe that if I'm going to get married, I'm in this for the long haul. So I do this thing to where every time a married person comes to my dealership or I meet a married person, I ask them for advice. I ask them, what advice can you give a person that's finna be married on how to stay married? I, I like I dial hands down, ask every married person and I get both perspectives because you need both perspectives to make this work. I ask men, uh, I ask women. The number one thing most people say is communication. And they say she gonna change. <laughs> that's the two things. That's the two things that, uh, men say. Women say most women say communication, but the two things men say, uh, communication. She gonna change, bro. I'm like, what you mean? She gonna change, nigga. So just so just be prepared for that. What does that mean? I don't know. It's, it's, it's something I gotta find out when you when get married. Huh? After after I say I do. <laughs> Cause I'm a little worried about that myself. What does that even mm-hmm. mean? But it's some it's some you gotta be married to know. I'm yes. guessing. Yes, gotta join that club. Mm-hmm. So you said uh, in the next relationship, when, mm-hmm. that's how women fix it. But yes. they, they, how do they fix their current relationship? They I don't. mean, because it could be the next relationship, the next relationship. Now they keep sleeping with a bunch of dudes, and you know niggas gonna say, "Nah, you yes. use goods and." Relation, okay. I think we should d- differentiate. If you're gonna relationship problems, she's gonna fix it in her next relationship. Self mm-hmm. problems are never gonna be fixed until she fix herself. Mm-hmm. But how okay. do you get? How do you get women to to agree that they are a problem in their self? I think it takes a special type of person, and I think it mm-hmm. takes. I always go into like life when something does not make sense. I repeat mm-hmm. it, like. You can't go to the bathroom. I 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 can't go. I've said it four times now, and you thought about that. Like, what do you mean? Like, they, yeah, I was like, you, I was like, what you mean? You can't go to the bathroom. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you repeat it back to them, they being a soundboard of hearing the crazy shit that just came out your mouth will make somebody think twice because people don't understand. Like, I feel like people only understand like being embarrassed. Or like mm-hmm. actual like they don't really get. But, they have to. There has to be consequence to something. Mm-hmm. You know, you they have to feel some type of way, like a negative connotation for them to understand but, it. But this is the problem, and this is why certain conversations I will have in the comment section, certain conversations, we taking this to DM because I don't like having conversation with people where you got outside people cheering the whole conversation on taking sides. No, let's take this. Let's have a private conversation in the DMs and discuss this. Because when you got other people involved, you just hunkering down in what you already think is true. Because now you got other people saying, nah, you right, sis. You told that nigga 
period poops here. Like, come on now. I said what I said. I'm like, you said nothing. You said, what, did you, what did you say? You said nothing. You said what you said, which was nothing. Mm-hmm. Like women got, a, I ain't gonna lie. Women got a lot of one-liners that don't mean nothing, but they, but it sound good. Mm-hmm. My mother's the same way. And period. Like, oh. I repeat it back to you. Period. Period. What? Period. Period. What do you? What does that I even said mean? What I, I said what I said. You said um, what you said. You said what you said? What did you say? What did you say? What, what was it? What, what she was said? What she and said? Like, and like, if you can't let it go, repeat, like, I, I mean, if you don't let it go, they won't, like, you know, once, if I don't, if I don't let nothing go, unless, like, you have to, you have to be accountable in the things that you say. And you can't backpedal and you can't, oh, I said what, no, say it again and explain it and make, see, how does that make sense? You know and what I mean? That's why, and that's why I keep saying it's niggas fault because niggas let them say that goofy ass shit because they just want to fuck. And you're probably right about that. I'm just one of those niggas, people who, maybe it's a niggas, lesbian and you like, niggas, I won't let will, women get away with that. Niggas will let the women say because they think, oh, no, nah, if I say something, she ain't gonna give me no pussy. No, nigga, she might respect you more and she might just give it to you anyway. She was gonna give it to you. If she was gonna she, give it to you, she was gonna give it to you. Yeah. Despite no matter whatever what. You said. Yeah. No matter what. No matter what you. Nah. Nah. Some niggas can't talk to themselves. It's very rare. It's uh, very rare. I mean, I'm telling you, it's extremely rare. Uh, if I was gonna uh, give it to you, I was going to. But if you, it's very rare you talk yourself out of it. Some of these niggas is weird. Some of these niggas is. I, I mean, yeah, but like, I'm like, have you Some ever talked yourself niggas, out of it? Uh, huh? Have you ever talked yourself out of it? Nah, because I, I know how to shut up. But it's not even a, like, even if a nigga don't know how to shut up, because I've come across this, like, you don't know how to shut up, but all right, if this is what we was going to do, this is what we was going to do. 